Hello students, in this video we're going to solve an inhomogeneous system of uh, ODEs and uh, in this case we're going to use the matrix exponential to do this and um, we're going to invoke something called Duhamel's principle or the variation of parameters formula. If you want to see where that formula comes from, I recommend that you watch my video on Duhamel's principle or the variation of parameters formula um, before you watch this video. Okay, so here we have a linear system, um, x prime minus ax equals f. Now, I know you're already looking at this and you're thinking, well, can I solve that using um, an integrating factor? And you certainly can. You can think that you can multiply this by an e to the minus at and multiply that across and then, and then collapse this term on the left and integrate. And that's exactly the approach we're going to take, except this time it's going to be with the matrix exponential. Now recall that when you do that, when you have um, a non-homogeneous um, ODE, you um, can decompose your solution into um, a homogeneous part and a particular part. Some people call this the complementary solution and this the particular solution. Um, I'll ref refer to it as a, the homogeneous part and the particular solution. Okay, now um, we could summarize this very nicely, um, this de decomposition into the homogeneous and particular solution um, by just following this um, set of equations here. So um, I just substitute the um, decomposition into the ODE. I distribute the matrix. Now, in this term here, the x primed h subscript h and the AXH, these cancel with one another because they're equal to one another. So we can just subtract them off, and I'm left with the particular solution equaling AXP equals uh, plus F. Okay. So that's going to become important then later when we want to uh, check our solution. Now, in this case, with the matrix, um, I'm going to I'm going to want to keep the fractions um, just for the sake of uh, the lesson. So um, the Q here stands for the rationals, and so I'm going to define my matrix as a rational matrix. It's going to be 2 by 2, and then um, this system, remember, has 1, 2, and 2, 1. So it's a symmetric matrix. My right-hand side, the F, is going to be the vector um, e to the 2t, and then in the second component, we have a minus 2t. All right. Um, I could find the homogeneous solution using the matrix exponential stage. Um, I just find it more efficient just to go with the eigenvalue method. Um, okay, so or the eigenvector method, whatever you like to call it. Um, we'll use the matrix exponential for the home, uh, non-homogeneous part. Um, so I'll compute the eigen matrix, and I'll get the um, diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues. So my eigenvalues are 3 and minus 1, and then my eigenvectors are 1, 1, and 1, minus 1. So I'll define my homogeneous solution such and then um, yeah you see that we get exactly what we thought for the homogeneous solution all right and um, I can confirm that that is in fact the solution by just doing a quick matrix multiply if I hit this matrix uh, I'm sorry if I hit this vector my solution vector homogeneous solution with an a um, it looks like I just took the derivative um, so if I take the derivative of e to the 3t I get the 3 to drop down and the same thing is the signs change, right? The minus sign comes down and I get a minus there. The minus sign comes down and minus minus gives me a plus. So multiplying by the A is the same thing as differentiating it. So XH primed is in fact equal to AXH. All right, now let's invoke Duhamel's principle or the variation of parameters formula. And that's what this looks like. Again, if you haven't seen this or how to derive this, um, you can look at my video. I do derive this formula for you in that video. However, in that video, um, the signs are switched. Um, this will be e to the minus at in the video. This will be e to the minus at, and this will be a plus a tau. Um, however, in this video, with my example, uh, my, my signs are switched. Um, I did not have an initial value, so I left the t naught off. So this um, integral symbol, sometimes you'll see this written this way. Um, this is just to indicate that my integration variable is tau, but the t is my input variable. Um, it's my independent variable for this uh, system. Okay, so this is the homogeneous solution, the e to the atc, 
that's the homogeneous part. This integral term here multiplied by this exponential is the particular solution. So I'm going to focus on the particular solution. Now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit this thing with the matrix exponential. Um, so that would be e to the at times the integral um, of e to the minus at times f, just like it's written here. And then um, I'm going to use this expand. Now, let me just show you a couple things here. Just give me uh, half a minute to go through this. Um, whoops, I forgot to define all my variables. OK, so I've defined all my variables now. And um, without these expands, um, my XP would look something like this. Okay, big mess. And um, even if I just looked at the first component, um, it would be um, still a pretty big mess. And you can see it looks like it can be simplified here a little bit. Um, and so that's what the expand does for me, is it's going to simplify this uh, these vectors. And this is what it looks like when it's simplified. So it's a nice little command to use. All right. And then um, I'm going to put these into a vector. And uh, that's what the xxp is. Um, just so that I can check to see if x primed p is equal to axp plus f. And what I do is I differentiate the left hand side. And I do an equal equal because I one equal sign is an assignment in a programming language. Two equal signs is equivalence check. And um, since I'm not dealing with real floats here, I'm dealing with rational numbers, I'm going to trust that the equal equal equivalence is going to work for me here. And I see that um, this equation does hold if I have the true come out, the Boolean true come out. So that is how you go about solving a non-homogeneous system of equations in um, using Sage um, and using the matrix exponential. And once again, I use the matrix exponential for the non-homogeneous part, the particular solution, and I just use the eigenvalue, eigenvector method for the um, homogeneous solution. All right, well, I hope you find it helpful. Good luck.